Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Quest for Faith and I'm Brian. And today we're going to be talking about resources to use if you're wanting to look into the Catholic Church. Um, a lot of the stuff I got on my video, not only did I get from taking RCIA or uh, reading reading the um, Catholic Catechism, but I read a ton of books. And so I kind of wanted to share those with you guys today. And uh, But before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's dive into it. All right, so I'm going to start this off with a book I would not recommend anyone ever buying. And I'm sorry if you have to take this at a, at in a class in college of, in church history and you have to use this textbook because it's horrible. Um, and I'm bringing this up because this is where my journey started. This is the book that got me to look at the Catholic Church. Um, it's this one here, Church History by Everett Ferguson. He's a professor at Abilene Christian University, um, my alma mater. And I was really dumbfounded that this is supposed to be a textbook. And let's see here. It has an appendix so you can look up things or an index. But absolutely zero sources. In this book and it infuriated me because I've done academic research before um, at the graduate level and you have to show where you're getting your information you can't just make blanket statements like this guy did a lot um, but anyways the first book though that I will recommend if you're trying to look into the Catholic Church 100% has to be the Catholic Catechism um, this has everything in it that you need to know pick up a catechism um, any questions you have, you could read through this whole thing. And there's even Bible studies that you can do, uh, like uh, Bible in a year type stuff where you can read the Bible along with the catechism because, shocker for some Protestants or maybe some Catholics that have never read through this, um, most of this is derived from Scripture. So it kind of goes hand in hand. It's a pretty good resource, probably the best resource. Um the next book that I used, and I got this uh, from RCIA, and this is uh, Michael Pincock. Is, this is Our Faith, a Catholic Catechism for Adults. And what this kind of does is it takes the catechism and tells you where to find it in the catechism, but then goes through and explains things a little bit more. Because honestly, like a lot of the, the that's in the catechism can be kind of dry. Um and this goes into more detail about backgrounds and things like that. So it's a uh, it's a decent resource that if you're looking into like, well, what do Catholics really believe? This is probably an easier read than going through the Catechism. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a good one. I and this is the book we used uh, going through RCIA. Um, so one of the First books I read, though, before I bought a catechism, this is when I was debating whether or not I wanted to join the Catholic Church, um, was this book, uh, Christ in His Fullness by uh, Bruce Sullivan. Um, this, this book is absolutely fabulous. Uh, and the reason I got this is Bruce Sullivan was a Church of Christ preacher that converted to the Catholic Church. And if you watch any of my other videos, I've mentioned it a bunch that uh, I grew up Church of Christ. And so I really kind of wanted to pick his brain, you know, because um, he's coming at it from the same upbringing and perspective that I have. So a uh, very good book, definitely highly recommend it. Um, and I think one of the interesting stories here, what led him to the Catholic Church is he was actually trying to convert a Catholic family to um to the church of christ and they gave him this book which i'll talk about it later but uh catholicism and fundamentalism um and they're like yeah read this and come back and we'll talk about it and kind of debate it back and forth which is 
I almost said gangster move, but it's a straight crazy move. Because if you ever read Fundamentalism and Catholicism, uh, <laughs> yeah. It, anyways, it blew his socks off to where him and his wife were both reading it, trying to come back with biblical debates to talk about things, and they couldn't do it. But really good book, Christ in His Fullness. The other one I read right after that was this one here, uh, Born Fundamentalist, Born Again Catholic by David Curry. Um, and what I can remember of this one, it's, it's been two years since I've read this, but, um, we're coming up on it, but, uh, he kind of goes through, sets up the Protestant perspective on things and then talks, explains the Catholic perspective on things. Um, everything from authority to communion in the real presence to i mean he goes through all the main hitting point topics that most protestants have issues with with the catholic church um really good book i think he was he grew up baptist and even went and got he got his uh graduate level work in uh theology at a, a baptist university and um yeah so this is a really good one born fundamentalist born again catholic definitely recommend that one um i am yeah i haven't finished this yet i'm a little of the way into it i got stuck reading another book we're going to talk about because it, it really kind of grabbed me from page one so but this book here has been really good so far and it's basically defending the pope and you can see here defending the pope uh Pope Peter defending the Catholic's most distinctive doctrine in a time of crisis. And I think this, this speaks volumes um, that a book like this would be written. And the two more that, I, that I'll talk about in a minute were written during this time period when there's a lot of Catholics that are having issues with Pope Francis right now. Um, but he's still our Pope. So what do we do about it? Um, so this is a pretty good one. I, I like it. It's... Uh, so far, I think I'm only like 30, 40 pages in, so I haven't really hit it that hard yet. But definitely a good one. Um, yeah, Pope Peter. Um, the next one that I absolutely love is by Jimmy Aiken, and it's The Bible is a Catholic Book. This is awesome, and it completely, if you're a historical nerd, this is a really easy read. It's only like 70, 170, 180 pages. Um, great read talking, and it does a lot of background of how unusual it was for the scriptures because, I mean, he goes into all this great detail of looking at the uh, – the different canons that were believed by the Jewish people during Jesus's time, that there was five different canons. He talks about that a lot in here. He talks about um, really how unusual it was with how long these letters were to the churches because it was really expensive to write the New Testament, like any of those let, you know, letters to the, to the Romans, um, first and second Corinthians, all those were very long and it was just highly unusual because at the time, not that many people could read or write. And you had to hire somebody to write this stuff for you. And so it was really uh, goes through a lot of the historical stuff behind the Bible. Really great read. So the Catholic, is, the, the Bible is a Catholic book by Jimmy Aiken. Um, and if you haven't heard of Jimmy Aiken and you're watching this, I, I'd be kind of shocked. But definitely check him out. He's, I think he has a YouTube video and a podcast. Um brilliantly smart dude really good guy um this next book i did not i've i've skimmed through it my wife read it um i i didn't get to get to reading this i guess i should but um the convert's guide to roman catholicism by uh by keith keith nestor so keith was a former methodist preacher that converted and he really kind of just walks you through a lot of the hangups that Protestants have joining the Catholic Church, do's and don'ts. Um, I've skimmed this. I just haven't read it fully, but my wife did read the whole thing. and said she, she really did uh, enjoy it. Um, 
I think by the time she read it, she said she didn't learn anything too new because we were so deep into it at that point. But she said it was definitely, definitely uh, worth picking up if you're wanting to learn more about the Catholic Church. Um, the next one that I have not started yet, but I just bought it, um, and I'm really interested to in reading this, uh, is Frank's uh, Sheed theology and, and uh, sanctity um so suppose the reason i bought this book is i was hearing some guys talk about it on the radio and the, and they were saying that and it says in the preface preface to that uh, preface preface whatever that um all everything in here he put together over years and years and years of street preaching and interacting with Protestants, talking about the Catholic faith. And he's like, I've hon this is years of me homing my skills and being able to have open debate and what works, what doesn't work. And I put the stuff that works in here. So um, I, I read a little bit of the beginning of it and it's not a light read. So, and it's, pretty small print and roughly 500 pages so um but i've heard great things about this so this is one that if you're a catholic already you should probably pick this one up and read through it so when you're talking with your protestant friends so like i mentioned before there in the with pope peter um there's definitely some issues going on in the catholic church and joining i didn't want to be blindsided i i wanted to know everything that there is to know um i wanted to to put it lightly especially when we we're going through rcia i kept saying that i'm joining the catholic church in spite of pope francis because the stuff i keep i kept hearing from him i was just not liking and even though he's done some good stuff recently, but well, we're not we're not diving into that that ball of wax yet. So I even picked up books talking about the issues within the Catholic Church and how bad or good or whatever they are. Um, and so one of the books I picked up was uh, Ta Dr. Taylor Marshall's Infiltration: The Plot to Destroy the Catholic Church from Within. Um, really well done um you can tell he's a professor because he has sightings left and right uh all of his sources he's pointing to um i i, I did listen to an interview with him and he said there's nothing in here that i can't that he couldn't back up with hard sources um and got a little confusing for me being a new catholic because i don't really know what Pope was what and when, <laughs> I still don't. Um, but it's kind of a good overview and perspective of what what happened to lead us to where we're at today in the Catholic Church. Um, wouldn't necessarily recommend this be your first read, one of these lighter reads. I'd probably go with first to actually understand what the Catholics believe and then dive into this. Um, but it was good. Uh, the next next book and there's a few more i need to mention too the next book that i am currently reading and this is the one that that stopped me reading the pope peter um is church in crisis a pathway forward by ralph martin uh so far i love this book i really have been enjoying it um if i could ever get my kids to sleep uh, on time, I'd read more of it. I, I'm not that far into it right now, but so far it's been amazing. And I've watched reviews on this, and um, I think it was um, Pints with Aquinas. Uh, Matt Fratt was doing, interviewed this author, and um, it, it's a good interview if you check it out on, on Pints with Aquinas on, the, on that YouTube channel. Um, but so far really good really enjoying it kind of lay right now i'm at the part where he's just kind of laying out all the stuff that's happened in the last 20 plus years 30 years in the church um but very good book um the next few books i don't have here with me because they were audiobooks and 
the one that I'll that I've already kind of mentioned before, Catholicism and Fundamentalism, by uh, Carl Keaton. Uh, that's the one that um, Bruce Sullivan was ha- was given, and basically converted him to being Catholic. Um, great book, really well done. Um, Carl Keaton is the founder of Catholic Answers. Um, absolutely fascinating to listen to. Uh, he kind of pulls up a bunch of the arguments for the, not necessarily just normal Protestants, but Protestants that kind of have it out for the Catholic Church um, and breaking down their arguments and just ripping them to shreds pretty much. It, it's a It's a fairly well done book. Um, another book that I'm going to read, I have not read yet, but if you're ever converting to Catholicism, every Catholic will ask you, I don't know how many people I've had ask me this question. Oh, have you read Home Sweet Home by Scott Hahn? Not yet. I got other stuff I've been reading, but I'm going to, it's on the list. Um, but yes, Home Sweet Home by Scott Hahn is one of those books that I do think everyone should read, but haven't gotten there yet um i will soon but that's another book to put on your list and then also i did the audio book for why i am a catholic by brandon vaught um and then i did uh which that was just kind of a good book explaining why he's catholic it was a pretty short read i think it was only like a four hour audio book um but it was okay it was nothing groundbreaking but it's a good um appetizer right like if you're not wanting to spend hours and hours on something uh, that's a pretty good one and then i also listened to uh why we are catholic our reason for faith hope and love by trent horn uh that was really well done too it was uh kind of the same lines of why i'm catholic um but um definitely more in detail and if you've never listened to anything with trent horn i I think he does work for catholic answers still um brilliant dude uh knows everything in and out um and then let me see here is there anything else on my list i'm trying to i type them all out no all right cool so that's pretty much the list of books that i've been reading um or planning on reading that i definitely would recommend y'all if you're looking if you're tired of listening to the the catholic youtubers and you want to get a little bit more in depth get your teeth sunk into catholic faith um those are the books i would recommend uh, i went through them pretty quick i am going to put a link for all of those books in the description below um so um I don't have an Amazon store or anything like that, so I'm just doing it so if you guys want them, they're there. Um, But uh, yeah, so I hope some of you are going to pick up some of these books and start really learning, either if you're Catholic, learning the faith, if you're Protestant, um, getting getting to understand the Catholic perspective on things. It kind of blows your mind at times. Uh, I can say that perfectly. (laughs) I mean... Yeah, once I understood the Catholic faith, it my my brain hurt. My heart, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all later.